So I actually started my career as a technical expert. I started in IT almost 12 years ago, where I um, took a bachelor degree in uh, computer science, then I moved towards a master degree in parallel and distributed computer systems, and then I actually um, pursued one of my passions, which was research, and I actually did a PhD, and this was focused also on computer science. Um, I, I want to mention that I am a technology geek, which means that while I was doing my PhD, I also started working, and um, I was nice. a software engineer for almost five years, and I engaged with different tools, um, and afterwards, um, I thought it was the moment to do a career shift. And that's when I heard for the first time about RPA and I decided to pursue that path. I saw the potential seven years ago in this particular technology. And I said, I wanna get, get in as fast as I can. So I started working on RPA as a software developer and then um, easily progressed towards technical leader then towards um, leading different centers for RPA and center of excellences. And now I'm in the position of a director of a global center of excellence here at the ECOM. That's fantastic. Um, your career journey is almost as winding as mine. I, I did a PhD in theoretical physics and somehow ended up uh, in the automation space. So it's it's good to be talking to a fellow wanderer. <laughs> I think they all intertwine, to be honest. So you're always going to find glimpses and um, pieces of research or anything like that in the automation space. So you're never going to miss necessarily doing research like you did for PhD, for sure. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 